In this video, I'm going to show you how you could paraphrase text in Python using the Parrot library. And so we're starting right now. And so the Jupyter Notebook used in this tutorial will be provided in the video description, and it's going to be on the GitHub of the Data Professor. And so the first thing that you need to do here is to install the Parrot library, and it's developed by Pre-T-Virat Damo Darren. All right, and now it's installed and we're going to import the parrot function from parrot. And here we're going to use PyTorch. Let's run the first cell here. And then for reproducibility, we're going to fix the random state number here, but you could feel free to try out a different random state number. And then we're going to initialize the model here and it's downloading the model. And this one is based on the T5. And let me check out the runtime. It said, GPU. No, I haven't selected the GPU. Let's see if this works. One moment as this being installed or downloaded. So the pre-trained model here is being downloaded. And the great thing is that you don't have to train the model. You just downloading the model and then you're using it. And so the phrase here that we're going to use today, I've arbitrarily created this. And so let's check out whether this particular parrot model will perform good or not. Let's have a look. All right, it's finished. And let's read in the phrase here. And actually here you could put in several sentences if you want. Let me add another one. So I'm going to use two phrases. What is the best way to learn data science? And how can I become a data scientist? Let's see if the model will generate some interesting results for us. And the original one was what is the best way to learn data science? And the output here is how do I learn data science? How can I learn data science? Where should I learn data science? Where should I start learning data science? show the best ways to learn data science tell me the best way to learn data science okay and so i'm not sure why it's not displaying the result for the second one so let me just delete the first one then let's do it again so here the input is how can i become a data scientist and the output is tell me the best way to become a data scientist how do you become a data scientist can someone become a data scientist how do i become a data scientist how can one become a data scientist how can i become a data scientist okay so it's reasonably okay for the paraphrasing and so let's make it a bit more general where can i buy the best the most delicious pizzas let's try that all right and so the output is where can i get all the best pizza where can i buy good quality pizzas where can i get the best quality pizza where can i buy the best pizzas where can i get delicious pizza where can i get some delicious pizza where can i find the most delicious pizza and where can I buy most delicious pizza? Okay, so it's reasonably good for paraphrasing less technical sentences. How about this question? And so let's get some possible spin to the question here. And so the input is, what's the most delicious papayas? And so here it is giving us four results. What's the best papaya to eat? Which are the best papayas? What is your most delicious papaya? List the most delicious papayas. And so if you would like to find the answer to this one, it has to come from Kanji. There's a lot of uh, different types of papaya. So right. I, I, I actually only like the whole Hawaii gold papaya. I don't mm -hmm. like the Mexican red papaya very much. It tastes kind of funky to me. Mm -hmm. But for anyone that's a papaya doubter, you have to try the Hawaii gold. Very, All very right. good. All right. Yes. <laughs> and so if you're finding value in this video, please smash the like button to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also hit on the notification bell so that you will be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.